Can you tell us about your new venture, Metis Music Management? I think every person has, if not a secret, then um, a desire which is subconsciously lying down on the bottom of your brain and you've been living with this all your life up to the point when the last straw falls on it and it jumps up. So this was the um, result of me organizing concerts for my colleagues, my classmates, or when I was a teenager, it was a theater, I was a director of it uh, when I was 16. So just being a leader and being able to create something, in fact, it doesn't matter whether you create music or you create a project, somehow it's the same part of your brain and heart and soul which takes energy out of it. So, <clears throat> I met someone about one and a half years ago who impressed me so much as a jazz musician and apparently he doesn't play a lot that I thought, okay, we must stop it. I see so many incredibly talented people who not um, who need support. Sure, many of them need support, but they are my dear friends who moved to different countries and because they had to take care of money, children, family, whatever, music came somewhere behind and became just a source of money, where all this creative stuff went away. As a result, <clears throat> I decided to make my first project at uh, Carnegie Hall, Dental Hall, this is where you were. I did everything by myself, all the PR ads, whatever, and I had two months only. And this was my second year in New York, so I could not call my high school friends and hey, you know anyone in this newspaper? It was all from zero. Would you please, could you please? We had a successful event. And as a result, this year I present a series of concerts at St. Peter's with different kinds of music. European musicians, Renaissance, classical, modern. It's a pleasure to do. It's a pleasure to see that people need it and you can invest something that's given to you from the nature, you can help them.